But we start with this nearly 160 million, uh, 160 million Americans who are feeling the heat today. Heat alerts across the country. The West Coast is expected to see record-breaking highs with temperatures well over 100 degrees. The East Coast, on the other hand, is facing humidity alongside those dangerously high temperatures. Get this. It was so hot right here in New York City yesterday that a bridge, a bridge stopped working. The heat apparently caused the steel to expand so that it wouldn't close properly. Firefighters sprayed water on the bridge for several hours until they were able to get it operational again. All right, CBS News correspondent Carter Evans is in Las Vegas. He's been monitoring the heat there out west. Carter, I've been watching your live shot since yesterday. It was hot yesterday. It sounds like it's even hotter this morning. What are some of the risks posed with the heat and the fires that are raging in California? Yeah, so it's going to get uh, e even hotter. It's it's in the 90s right now. The temperature on the surface <laughs> of the concrete here, let me get the reading for you. Uh, this is about 113 degrees right now. And uh, it's only 7.01 a.m. out here, right? So the sun's only been up for a little while. So it's very hot. So, so what can this do to a person? Well, first of all, it can dehydrate you very, very quickly. And, and if you're outside and you're hot and you're thirsty and feeling tired, then you're already dehydrated. It's too late. you got to get inside and get some cool water. The other thing that I I think a lot of people don't think about is is when the ground the pavement it is this hot if you touch it if you fall down and you're there for any period of time more than a few seconds you're going to get burned second and third degree burns about half the people in the burn center here in las vegas right now are there with pavement burns all right, Carter Evans for us in Las Vegas. Uh, Carter, I was shocked yesterday when you pointed that uh, thermometer, I guess that's what it is, a, a remote monitor, at some piece of metal on the side there, and it was like 130 degrees. Yeah. Yeah, I, you know, I, and that's the thing. So it's Vegas, right? There's people out on the strip. They're hanging out. Uh, you know, they're kind of getting used to the heat. But there's all these railings and things like that. The, the escalator handles, they're black. They're very, very hot. So it's like if you lean against a railing on your bare arm, you can get burned out here. It is that hot. All right, Carter Evans for us in Vegas. Carter, stay cool, man. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Okay, let's bring in CBS News Philadelphia meteorologist Kate Bilo with the first look at the national forecast. Kate. Hi, Vlad. Yeah, of course, that's the big story, the heat. And, you know, some people will hear Las Vegas. Oh, it's Las Vegas. It's supposed to be hot. They're used to it. They're actually not used to it. 104 is the average temperature this time of the year. When you're talking 117, 118, two days ago, Las Vegas hit their all-time record high of 120 degrees. And it doesn't look like it's really going to cool down anytime soon. Take a look at expected high temperatures today. And where you see the pink, these are all the excessive heat warnings out across the West. So lots Vegas headed for 117. As you head down a little bit further to the south toward Needles, we're at 122 for the high. Palm Springs, 121 degrees. Even up in Eugene, Oregon, 105 with heat, extreme heat warnings in effect. Down across the south, the heat scaling back a little bit, but I do want to draw your attention to that heat advisory posted for the Houston area. As cleanup continues with the flooding from Barrel, they are going to be sweltering today and many, many people left without power and possibly without a way to stay cool. Heading into the northeast, heat advisories blanketing the eastern seaboard. We've got 96 in Philadelphia, 93 degrees up in Danbury, Connecticut today, near 100 in Washington, D.C., and it is going to feel even hotter because you've got the high humidity out across the east. So let's just take a look back to Las Vegas. Look at these temperatures, Vlad. No. As we head through the middle of the week, we're heading to 118 tomorrow and Thursday. Coming up, I'll tell you more about the flooding left over from Barrel. I'll send it back to you. All right, Kate, thank you very much. We'll check it back in with you a bit later. Appreciate it.